effect, making it difficult for people to go home. An estimated 280,000 people were displaced by war, forced to live in camps like this one. There are still thousands here. We were hearing that landmines weren't the only thing keeping people in camps. Some people told us they didn't know why they were still there. We went looking for answers, and so, just after his election victory, a few international journalists and I were given a rare chance to ask President Mahinda Rajapaksa some questions. We wanted to know why there were still so many homeless. Officially, they're called internally displaced persons, or IDPs. Mr. President, what is the status of the IDPs who are still in the camps, and why are they, they still there? They can go. I mean, when, when we uh, clear the whole area, we will slowly uh, settle it. They have 50,000 people. Or some people have come back. They say, we, have, we are losing these, all these facilities here. But if they, they get their food free, they get, they get their shelter, they get water, and they are very happy. They, they, uh, they are happy in the camps. But, but, sir, if they're so happy in the camps, then why don't you let the independent media go on their own to all of the camps? So We're always go. taken to the same one. That's not true. We can't go. We can't go without an army escort. So why don't you just let us go, drive up, and go to the, all the different camps, not the same camp? Yeah, We're always taken to the same camp. you all go and make the worst things, so sometimes you make it... Make it uh, uh, we're just trying distorted, to talk to people. Distorted uh, versions, and we have seen that in the history. It has happened. Take a photograph uh, and said that we have put them in a can. Barbed huh? wire can. Well, they were behind barbed wire. I saw it myself. There was barbed wire around the camps. The other looming issue allegations of war crimes against both sides. We took a look at a U.S. State Department report which details more than 170 incidents. We attempted to speak with leaders of the Tamil Tigers, but most of them have either been captured, killed, or are in hiding. Did the Sri Lankan military commit war crimes? No. How do you know? I knew it. But all the families said they, the firing was definitely coming from both sides. So as to an independent investigation, he said, you know, we're looking at doing that. There were allegations the, of, of bombing just indiscriminately. No. There were allegations. It was all targeted. It was allegations, no, it was targeted when they took the real target. What you take away from talking to different people in different aspects of the war, whether it's the civilians who did not choose to be where they were and got stuck, or members of the military who chose this job, but at a young age had no idea what it was going to mean to them and their families. You c 